My name is Branka. I live and work in Croatia. And in this final recording for this year's uh, Moodle for Teachers session, I would like to share with you some of my thoughts, or better to say, I would like to share how I was feeling throughout these uh, five weeks and uh, what the challenges were for me and uh, what I've learned uh, in the end, not only about the platform, but also about myself. Uh, so when I joined uh, Moodle for Teachers this year, uh, as this is not my first deal, I knew that it differs from other sessions because uh, in other sessions, well, you you work individually, uh, you meet uh, other participants, learn about them in the forums, but uh, Moodle for Teachers is uh, something else. It's a collaborative course. And uh, I knew it would be very challenging for me, uh, knowing my personality, my uh, background, my uh, the community I work in. So in many aspects, it was challenging, but still I found that uh, this is the right time to, for me to join in. Uh, well, I wasn't wrong. I've learned so much and uh, I'm very grateful to everyone here. Uh, but I must admit it was stressful because everything unrolled uh, uh, so quickly. In weeks of one to three, we had to team up. And, um, well, I thought, oh, my God, what shall I do? And uh, then uh, I saw Ivona suggested the challenger group, and uh, I immediately recognized myself in the description. Uh, she said something about busy teachers uh, with family obligations. Um, but still ready to face the challenge. And uh, so I joined and I didn't regret because um, I ended up working with uh, two great two women. And we are all English teachers, but uh, also uh, we are mothers and wives, and therefore we are packed with uh, patience and understanding. So being only the three of us, um, and being sensible women, uh, well, we could agree and resolve uh, uh, everything more quickly. Uh, they helped me a lot. Uh, I've never collaborated on Google Docs, and uh, Ivona, who had some prior knowledge uh, about the platform, well, uh, she could uh, move faster, and she helped a lot with advice. And uh, we had several Zoom meetings, and Tiana was the host. <laughs> I remember one time while I was working on the syllabus, uh, it was the weekend, and it was uh, during night. And uh, I saw she was there. She saw me, and uh, uh, well, immediately we we had a Zoom meeting. Well, two night hawks uh, exchanging uh, experience. Well, it was interesting. Um, as a group, we also uh, communicated on Messenger, and well, we still are. And uh, so we agreed on the topic uh, very early on. We didn't want to choose some demanding topic from what I understand about this course. It's about the process of learning. Uh, we learned about the platform and designed our course uh, at the same time. So, well, we managed to do it. Maybe it's not so elaborate, but uh, it's only because of short deadlines, because it, I think it takes time to create a, a quality course. Uh, from what I understood, this course design area um, on Moodle will, will stay open. I just don't remember for how long. Uh, I still know that there are many features on the platform to learn. And before this course, I didn't even consider to uh, set up a course, and now I am considering it. Uh, well, I hope I can turn to my teammates and Dr. Nelly as well to help and uh, uh, make it possible. Well. Uh, I've learned a lot here, and I said it was challenging for me in many aspects uh, as I work in a small uh, school. Uh, 
It's a village school in rural area, and it has less than 150 students. And I teach students um, uh, 11 to 14 uh, years of age. And in our staff room, there are not many teachers. And when we have to collaborate, we uh, we just uh, do it face to face, and uh, we agree very quickly. And teachers there are not so. so uh, willing to cooperate or especially not online um, but somehow in years of my teaching I felt I needed more I, well I, I've always uh, been keen on studying learning and uh, developing professionally and uh, I've attended many uh, seminars and conferences and later webinars uh, online offline conferences national and international uh, well, I saw there that teachers can make wonders well uh, when they work together, and they can make a difference. They can they can move boundaries. Uh, so I'm grateful in technology. I'm grateful to technology because um, it developed and it gave me the opportunity to join online sessions and. It not only opened uh, uh, the new window for me, it opened the whole new world. I'm very grateful for that opportunity because I feel I also have a, a voice and certain experience as a teacher. And I'm glad that uh, it's respected and the worth sharing. And uh, it makes you feel satisfied, you know, from the inside especially in a collaborative course, uh, the sense that you can contribute. Uh, I said from the beginning of this course, uh, it would be challenging for me, not only that I'm accustomed to work as a, an individual well, in this uh, small school I work alone, but also as a type of personality I am. Uh, always learn from a theory, not from experience. Well, Somehow I felt I needed to get out of my comfort zone um, because as a person I'm too cautious and uh, I belong to this minority of population on this planet who, I mean people who, when buying a new gadget or a device, uh, before unpacking it, uh, <laughs> they read the manual instructions because they are afraid uh, to spoil something. Uh, well, that's me. And collaborative work is something really uh, opposite. It's actually the process. It takes you out and you just move along the way with others and you learn on the way uh, together with uh, teammates because, um, well, uh, you move on and uh, if you fall, there is always a helping hand to, to help you stand up. I can compare it to life as well, because I see uh, life as a path full of challenges and choices. And uh, there are obstacles as high as mountains, but uh, if you have someone beside you accompanying you, uh, this obstacle may not uh, look as high. So. Uh, it's all about the journey and not the final product and the final result. Well, especially in life, we do not wish to reach the final uh, line so quickly. So I'm grateful to everyone here, especially Dr. Nelly. And uh, I must say, I, I adore EVO sessions because moderators are always present. They provide this sense of uh, security that you have someone to turn to. There are live sessions and support forums. I read uh, everything Dr. Nelly, you, you uh, said and uh, helped the others, so I learned also from there. And uh, I'm also grateful to my teammates. It was uh, a remarkable experience uh, for me. So thank you very much, everybody.